We're going to be checking the weight of the fish in the pond. Hi everyone, if you are new, this is Naturally Afro Sis. You are welcome and I hope you're going to subscribe and turn on your bell button so that you don't miss a thing when I do new videos. If you are already subscribed, thank you very much for your support and um, yeah, welcome back. So I like to do videos on natural hair care for growth styling and just general maintenance in this video we're not going to be doing natural hair but we're going to be doing one of the things that i like to do and this is um, fish farming so disclaimer i'm a newbie in fish farming just learning as well so i like to share my experience with you as i learn so that we could grow together so please if you have any recommendations make your recommendations so one of the things that you do is to check the weight of the fish to have an idea how much your fish is weighing in your whole pond and also just to monitor its growth this video is very practical so we are going to go into it so we're going to need four things number one or salt number two a small plastic bucket number three a scale number four a scooping net we're going to put pond water in a bucket mix it with the salt and then we'll put it on the scale to wait to record and then we leave it there then we catch the fish to catch the fish we use our scooping net so we do it in the morning just before our morning feed because we want to get the fish when it's hungry and we use food to attract it to come closer so we start throwing its feed and then we dip in the scooping net We have a slightly bigger scooping net but we don't use it because for some reason the fish is able to see and it escapes so the smaller green one maybe because it looks almost like the water we don't know so this is what works best for us. You could also use a cast net but initially we didn't buy because there were too many things to buy you know when you're just starting up so certain things that you feel they are not really important at that time you don't really get them but the scooping nets have been working for us but now the fish is getting cleverer and cleverer so we need to graduate eventually to a cast net ouch that must have been painful i can imagine the fish jumping violently out of the bucket and landing on the ground not in water people i know this could be dangerous we risk having fish injured in the process although the idea of the sort is to be kind of a disinfectant but are there any better ways please let me know in the comments down below how you do it
I know by now we should be using a cast net, but we did not have the cast net, so we had to make do with what we had. The fish is now growing so fast, it's becoming too active, and the, the scooping nets are proving to be a challenge. So next time we do this, I'm sure we'll do the whole calculation of determining the feed ration for the day. So for those of you that wish to start fish farming and you feel like it's something that is hard to start, you can and watch my video on how to start fish farming as a newbie I'm going to link the video up here so you can click it of course after you finish watching this video so thank you very much for watching this video if you like it give it a like share with your friends and subscribe bye see you in the next video